In this episode of a mobile home makeover, I do two slightly terrifying things, and Deb puts down some contact paper and does some planting. Deb's out doing a little gardening. Yesterday we hired a plumber to go under the crawl space and or under the porch really and uh, replace the water main shutoff that had been leaking uh, for quite some time and uh, today I'm going to go under there and clean up the area and uh, figure out whether I need to get new heat tape or whether I can reuse the heat tape that's there and then um, to uh, maybe get some insulation, add insulation. First, I gotta go. Here we are again. Here's where the work was done yesterday. You can see just some garbage left behind. Not terribly clean. And I'm gonna take a look at what happened. I think basically some complicated stuff was cut out and some simple stuff was added. Well, here's what he replaced yesterday, he put in that new valve and all that. And then here is where there's still a pretty healthy leak. What the fuck, man? They put in this uh, buffalo berry bush. Deb's working on contact paper. Wait, is it? No. It just covers. No. I attempted to tighten this up and that didn't help at all. So uh, right now I'm just gonna hose it up. Put this insulation over the top and uh, <laughs> let it drip until uh, I learn how to do hex plumbing and how to uh, go from this flexible half inch copper to this or to that PEX back there. For right now, uh, I'm just gonna close it up. Now I'm gonna put insulation over the top of all of this and call it a day for the The rest of it is put to bed for the winter, a leaky guy, well, you know, running water doesn't freeze, right? <laughs> Shit. And I used the last bat just to close up the hole now. There's another one just open down there, so... It made no big difference. Oh, that's pretty great. About to go into the house for the third time today, feeling a little bit like fraud. I can't even deal with a leak in my water but well it's a little bit of a mess in here the underbelly repair that my brother did last fall has collapsed because of the flood that I created fixing or changing out the anode rod in the water heater and uh, so I'm needing to remove that wet fiberglass and uh, we'll see whether I replace it or just pin up the underbelly as it is I don't know what sort of further mayhem I might create. Here I'm using Gorilla Tape to seal up the spots in the underbelly that I'd clap as best I can. You can't really staple it up or nail it up. Well, I got this pinned up again. You can see through now. That's where the uh, main valve in is, right over there. I could probably do a better job of getting. Um, <sighs> Overall, I can see uh, why there were many, um, I can see why there were many scraps of plastic and uh, insulation down here it's pretty hard to work down here and it's pretty easy to make a mess but hopefully everything's insulated up bill is enjoying the new spots in the garden stop it Yeah, 
that's what I did. Before. Okay. Anyway, so well, before that got that. Maple. I'm amazed that that's terrible. The maple didn't survive that. Dude, I and it's nothing like it was now. how wet it was. Annuals. Right, 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 so right. if you could just keep watering those, they like a lot of water. But they're gonna die. They're annuals, you said. Yeah, but they're all about to flower. Oh. No, the but they might seed. The oh, companulas? Whatever. Which ones? Not the companulas. The zinnias. Oh, the ones oh, that you oh, just put really in. Oh, And the deanthus. You have zinnias? Oh, perfect. Anyway. Okay. The ones that you just put in, babe? So then I put two helichrysum right next to the lilacs. What's a helichrysum? Three weeks and the vegetation is growing up quite a bit. Well, here goes Deb. Pull away. And uh, that's my... Amtrak adventure is about to begin next. Well, I was feeling alone for a minute, and then, of course, Bill came to the rescue. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you on the train.